The natural world contains about 8.7 million species, and we only know about 2 million of them. That means Mother Nature has created some things that are definitely going to be a question to look at. Whether it's regular common species in funky colors, or completely new animals like the sarcastic fringe head, there is a lot you have not seen yet. So without further ado, here are 40 animals you might not have seen before. Spanish Dancer Nudibranch Anyone who's aware of seal slug knows that they come in a wonderful variety. Still, the Spanish dancer Nudibranch is actually the biggest sea slug as of yet. It's as long as a human arm, and it literally looks like a mutilated floating tongue or a giant flower petal, whatever seems fit. Sea slug Who needs space travel when you can find aliens right in the depths of our oceans? There are countless types of sea slugs, but this one is special. It's a predatory sea slug, and the most unique thing about them, apart from their appearance, is how they eat. They just move around with their oral veil open like a vacuum and close it up when they sense a prey, just like a fishnet. Ghost Shark Scientists need to have a better system of naming animals. For example, even air breathing, though this fish is called a ghost shark, it's not a shark. However, they are related to them, except they only have one gill on either side of their bodies. To add to their ghost-like appearance, they have a misty glow in their dark eyes too. Sea Pig Once again, these animal names are here to confuse you. The sea pig isn't actually a pig, obviously, it's a sea cucumber. The pig part in their name comes from the fact that they have pinkish, plump bodies like land pigs that we love to devour. Sea pigs are found in every ocean, but you might never get to see them since they live in the coldest and deepest parts of the ocean. Ardwolf A striped hyena is nothing special, except striped hyenas don't exist. This is, in fact, an ardwolf, and their name means earth wolf. To make them even weirder, they're insectivorous animals and only enjoy tiny critters. And for that specific reason, they have cheek teeth that look like flattened pegs. Hagfish Who knew that one of the most boring looking fish could have the weirdest features? Some animals use their teeth to get out of danger and some use their speed. However, these marine fish use slime. Yeah, you heard that right. We're not talking about the squishy, colorful slime every kid loves to play with. It's gelatinous, mucus-like material that can expand up to a hundred times when it's released. Gross. Robber fly. If there were criminals in the animal world, it would be the robber fly, no pun intended. These flies will eat any insect that flies. That too, in a very cruel way. First, they inject a fluid into their victim that literally breaks down their muscle tissue and then chomp them down like free dinner. And since they're about 3 inches in size, they're practically the hulk of the fly world. White Serval The pharaoh white serval looks like something right out of a winter wonderland, and yet they don't even live in the snow. There are only a handful of these creatures known to us, and we've only ever witnessed two of them. They're not regular albinos either, their natural fur is all white. What royalty? Gulper Eel Sometimes nature surprises us with things that even make scientists raise their eyebrows. The gulper eel is literally like a large net with a balloon mouth. It swims into large groups of shrimp with its mouth open and scooping up prey as it goes. They use their huge mouths to store food for later too, like nature's fridge. Exquisite Crown Jellyfish what has no heart, no brain, blood, gills, but has the secret to immortality? The wonderful crown jellyfish. 
thanks to their extremely simple biological makeup, they can live for thousands of years, if not forever. The crown jellyfish is also especially venomous, just not to us. Sarcastic Fringe Head We're taught not to judge people by appearances. Thankfully, this doesn't apply to fish. If you see this fish, do not question anything and just quietly swim away. The sarcastic fringe head is not only possessive about its territory, but it also has a mouth full of needle-like teeth that can open and close like a bear trap. They're just that witch that lives in the woods and hates everyone. Let them and their silly burrows be. Male Ribbon Eel with so much trash down in the ocean, you can easily confuse this creature for a piece of ribbon or colorful cloth. The ribbon eels start their life as bright yellow eels, and then comes the phase where they turn blue and yellow. At this point in life, they're actually male. When they turn back to yellow, they become female. The color of their skin is correspondent to their sex. How cool is that? Harlequin Toad the harlequin toad has beautifully striped bodies that you might think is good enough to attract a female frog, but it's not. In fact, these frogs completely forego food during mating season for a special love diet that makes them lose up to 30% of their body weight. Even after that, they have to wave in the water to get their attention. Conehead Mantis the majestic conehead mantis has enough charm to captivate anyone's eye. That is, if you can find them. Their bodies already blend so well with the plant, yet they even move like leaves to blend in even more. African Giant Millipede Millipedes and other insects with more legs than we can imagine are creepy enough. And then there's the African Giant Millipede that looks like it's more a snake than a millipede. No one in their right minds will go near them, and even if you do, they'll secrete a liquid that can make your skin itchy like crazy. Hammerhead Worm The hammerhead worm is the most hardcore worm you can possibly imagine. Most worms just wriggle around and don't cause much harm, but they actually like to prey on their own kind, earthworms. Sometimes they even eat slugs, insect larvae, and other hammerhead worms too. It pushes the prey against a surface and envelops it into a slimy secretion and drinks it up. Ooh. Hercules Beetle The Hercules Beetles might not be heroic, but with the swords on their head, they sure look like it. The best part is the beetles don't bite, don't produce any smelly odors, and are pretty easy to take care of. So, if you want an intimidating pet that's not a pit bull, this might be your best bet. Honduran White Bats The Honduran White Bats are the exact opposite to the regular scary bats. For starters, they're just so cute and they love getting pets from humans. Sometimes, they will curl up in big leaves and make the tent into their home. That's not all, they all snuggle together and then sleep. How adorable. Albino Seal We might look at animals like the albino seal and stare in awe, but their colonies usually reject them because of how different they are. But the chance of them merely existing is about 1 in 100,000, which just makes them even more interesting to look at. Leucistic Bald Eagle Just like albino animals, blonde birds exist too. This bald eagle has a genetic mutation called leucism that only takes away some of the melanin, making it look like it got its fur bleached from a salon. However, albino or leucistic birds are very rare, occurring once in about 1800 chances. This means that they won't be able to fit into the birds of a feather stick together metaphor. Zorse A zorse looks like an animal that was being printed, but the printer ran out of ink. The zorse is a very strange creature, only because humans love to make weird little animal mixtures. Apparently, a mule wasn't enough, so they went ahead and created the Zorse. Moreover, 
Zors are usually prone to dwarfism, which makes them even smaller in size and perhaps even cuter. White Orca It's a good thing many fish aren't white because we might easily confuse them with icebergs, and we all remember how the Titanic story went down, full pun intended. This obviously doesn't stop nature from running its course and coming up with a very rare white orca whale. In fact, one of them is quite well known in the marine community, and its name? Iceberg. Everything truly comes in full circle. Irrawaddy Dolphin If you like beluga whales, you are going to love the Irrawaddy Dolphin. Their charismatic round faces make them look like baby belugas, but with only one dorsal fin. Moreover, their unusually expressive faves make them look like they're happy and smiling. Unfortunately, these are currently endangered creatures, so if you like them, make sure to do your part in saving them too. Collared Lizards What's fancier than a regular lizard? A collared lizard, of course. These distinguished gentlemen have two black collars around their necks and love to munch on grasshoppers and crickets. That's not all they like to eat though. Sometimes they'll go for other lizards, even their own kind. That took a dark turn pretty fast. Cicada Cicadas are weird enough as they are. They live incredibly long lives, reaching up to 13 to 17 years, but they barely ever come out of the ground, just to stick to your windshield and make an insufferable buzzing sound. Oh, that's so cool! And what's doing that is underneath here! But forget about the regular plain ones. Take a look at this incredibly large cicada with brightly colored bodies. They're the only ones in their genus, too. Cleaner Shrimp Other than being completely beautiful and bright, the cleaner shrimp make the life of every marine creature a lot easier. They live with their client fish and clean off any parasites the fish might have. This gives the shrimp free food and the fish a free cleaning round. Lynx We've seen enough famous big cats, but what we don't get to see are stunning creatures like the lynx. These animals have very iconic tufts of black hair on the tip of their ears and black bars on their necks that resemble a bow tie. You could say these are the fancier cousins of regular big cats. Monkfish For some reason, humans will eat anything, even if it's something as ugly as the monkfish. What's weird is that they're called the poor man's lobster because of the firm sweet taste similar to a lobster tail, but they're mostly about 80% mouth. Would you like to try one? Huge Pyrosome This huge pyrosome looks like plastic, but it's actually a free-floating collection of completely identical clones that make up a colony. In fact, this is a colony you're looking at. These simple creatures don't do much except filter feed on microscopic plankton and sometimes even glow thanks to their bioluminescent qualities. Bobbit Worm As if there weren't enough violent and disturbing predators in the water, we also have the Bobbit Worm that basically works like a chainsaw. These worms are great at detecting prey thanks to their five antennas. They use their strong muscles to snap a fish in half and gobble it up. Sometimes they even bite humans. One more reason not to go into the ocean. Hairy Frogfish If there's one thing marine animals can do, it's camouflage. Usually this is a good thing, but it's a big problem for us humans who are revolted by things like the hairy frogfish. The hairy frogfish is covered in spines that look like strands of hair. They can even change colors to fit in, and even weirder, they don't really swim. Instead, they walk along the sea floor. Mediterranean Parrotfish 
Either these fish have a bad color of lipstick on, or they're just the Mediterranean parrotfish. They use their beak-like mouths to feed on algae that grows on seagrass. They're constantly chewing off the algae off the rocks the whole day, which is actually a good thing, especially for the coral reefs. If you happen to catch one, put it back into the water because they're endangered. Deep Sea Pacific Football Fish It's a good thing why deep sea fish don't come up to the surface, considering how horrifying and massive they are, it's better they stay down in the water. Just take a look at this football fish. Glass Octopus where the sun doesn't reach, there grows life that will amaze you. One of the rarest creatures an underwater robot captured was this beautiful transparent octopus. With all luminescent tentacles, it looks like an alien fish from the abyss. Sun Bear You've heard of Care Bears, now take a look at the Sun Bear. This is the world's smallest bear species with an unusually long tongue. They're called sun bears not because of their cute nature, but because of the bright patch on their chest. Red-lipped batfish Humans aren't the only species that put on makeup and bright red lipstick to get a date. Some fish, like the red-lipped batfish, do it too. And to lure in prey, they have a whole other system. Their fleshy, modified dorsal fin can be extended to attract small fish. Blackfin Icefish Fish have a very weird way of surviving. Sometimes evolution skips the step of even giving them hemoglobin, the stuff that makes our blood red. So the icefish here has blood that actually just looks like plain water. Mantis Shrimp Other than looking like a million peacock feathers, the mantis shrimp also has a punch compared to a bullet leaving a gun. The force they produce equals to about 2,500 times more than their weight. Golden Cave Catfish These catfish are a very critically endangered species of air-breathing catfish. Moreover, they only live in the cave in Namibia and literally nowhere else. Yeti Crab The yeti might not be real, but the yeti crab sure is. This ghostly creature has super furry pincers that they use to harvest huge clusters of bacteria that grow on the surface of hydrothermal vents. Yum, hot vent bacteria soup. Venezuela Poodle Moth As the name suggests, the Venezuela Poodle Moth was first discovered back in 2009 in Venezuela. It is endowed with big black eyes and its body is covered in white fur. This fur makes it look fluffy and kind of like a poodle. But since it is a moth, it also has a whitish wing and if you are lucky, it will be attracted to your porch light. And if that happens, I'm pretty sure you won't be able to resist the temptation to run your fingers through it. I mean, if this isn't the cutest moth, then I don't know what is. Hummingbird Hawk Moth Still on moths, the hummingbird hawk moth is definitely not your usual kind of moth. If you ever come across it, you might never in a million years first classify it as a moth. Its size alone is as large as that of a hummingbird. Like hummingbirds, they do have a long proboscis which they use to feed on nectar. The hummingbird hawk moth is also endowed with orange-reddish wings. These unique moths can be found in Scotland, Wales, Ireland and England. Lowland Streaked Tenric Streaked Tenrics are commonly found in Madagascar. If they are in the mountainous rainforests, they are classified as Highland Tenrics, and if they are in the Eastern Forest, then they are classified as Lowland Streaked Tenrics. The Lowland Streaked Tenrics are the most social, as you'll probably find them gathering in groups. At first glance, they look like electrocuted rats due to their erect yellow and black quills. They use these quills to communicate with other group members and also in defense when they feel threatened. 
lowland streaked tenrics also have long little snouts that play a vital role in foraging for plants and insects. Long Waddled Umbrella Bird The male long waddled umbrella bird is like no bird you have ever seen. They have long waddles with flabby chunks of skin, kinda like the ones you'd find on a turkey. The waddle also looks like the umbrella bird has a thick scarf wrapped around its neck. What's even more interesting is the fact that these birds are able to control their waddles accordingly. They can retract and extend the waddles during flight or even when they just need to perch on a branch of a tree. Besides earning themselves mates, these waddles play no other role. If you are ever in Ecuador or southwest Colombia, you might get lucky to see one. Okapi You've probably seen a giraffe and a zebra, but have you ever seen an animal that looks like both? Say hello to Okapi. Okapi are the closest relatives of giraffes. Okapis look like they borrowed their head from the giraffes and the black and white stripes on their hind areas and front legs, well, those were borrowed from a zebra. If a giraffe and a zebra had a baby, this is probably how it would look. Do you agree? Sadly, okapis are not only hard to come by, but also endangered. There are a few deep in Aturi forest in the Democratic Republic of Congo, but no travelers are allowed there, which I think is for the best. Alright, comment below which of these animals you've actually seen before. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Forever Green, and we'll see you in the next one.